I am going to do is show how to set up your TES PNP50. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tape where I've got it. I'm going to come back in and tape this off later. bunch of friends that were asking me how to set up uh, the additional features. The nice thing about the PNP50 is it is pretty much plug and play, but again, the manual for the PNP50 does not clearly articulate what you do um, for, and I should say, the manual is for the PNP Pro, so it doesn't really cover the PNP50 all that well. You have to interpret. So, leave the, you can see this information here on the side. We have, uh, oh, I can't remember if it's up down, but the center is enter, and one of these is up and one of them is down. So what we're going to do is press and hold enter button until we go into the setup. All right. Okay, so I have entered the TBS PNP 50s menu. We start out with the RSSI and we can either do and our options are either analog digital off or link. I'm using the D4R2 RSSI and I am using the analog. So to set the analog you press enter and you want to set your max value I've got my hand in the way of the camera. So you're supposed to take your controller and put it about two meters away. And then you set the maximum by enter. Then you turn the minimum value. You turn off your receiver and press enter again, and you're done. We have current type. As you can see, 50 amp off. Adjust, I think there's no really no reason to alter it from the default. Our next is cam type, which you can have FPV, I believe your other option is GoPro. Then you have the battery adjust, which I could adjust this if I needed to, but if I get my handy dandy little tester here, see 11.4. We're kind of venturing between 11.4 and 11.5, so it is accurate. 
So we're going to get out of that. The OSD, I believe you, this is turning it on and off. On. Your alternative is off. I don't really want to mess with that. And then exit. You can see here, I'm going to unplug it. Then plug it back in. We'll get the TBS Core PNP 50 amp version 1.0. That's what I have. I have nice black bars. I have my RSSI on. You can see right now it's registering. You can see that it was registering zero, and now it is registering variable because I'm between my TX and myself. My TX and my RX. So now they're adjacent to one another and probably have a little interference, but at least it's showing accurately. And that is how to set up the TBS PNP50 Pro.